guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Melly. if you're new here um welcome inspirers and today i wanted to start the new vlog i j literally just got home like not even 10 minutes ago from being out of town for a couple of days it is friday march 15th it is 11 16 p.m and i came home to a ton of boxes um let me try to show you Ignore the mess in my room. I literally just got home. Everything back there, let's move you a little. Everything back there is um, my bags from being out of town for two days. Um, I, the first little haul that I want to show you guys is I did end up going to TJ Maxx and Walmart when I was out of town. So I just want to show you that little haul. The only thing I got from Walmart that, you know, that I want to share with you guys is this Bernat baby blanket. It's so pretty. I don't think I've ever seen this colorway. So I looked in the yarn section and I saw this and I thought it was adorable. Um, it is called Lovely Blue and it's Bernat baby blanket. Extremely soft. Figured I'd get it. And yeah, it's going in that pile of yarn over there, which I don't need any more yarn, but you know, who's going to stop me? <laughs> So the next thing that I want to show you, I went to TJ Maxx and I bought a couple of sweaters and shirts. I feel like there was a couple of people who asked me where do I get like my t-shirts from. I love, I'm just a simple girl. I love t-shirts. Um, I also love dresses and skirts, but um, for the vlog and stuff, I love to wear just comfort clothes. And a lot of my t-shirts I get from TJ Maxx when I go out of town. A lot of it is from the guy section just because with the girl section, they're always cropped. I hate crop tops. Um, I, they just don't suit me. And so I always get t-shirts, comfy clothes from the guy section. So just a tidbit there. Let me show you what I got from the guy section. So I thought this shirt was pretty cute. It just has this on the back. It's like palm trees and a sunset. And then up here, it just has a little thing on the corner and it says free planet. Thought it was cute. $7.99. Very inexpensive. So I got that. My gosh, I love this. I, I don't know why, but I bought a ton of like sweatshirts and I love them. So I know it's getting warmer, but I don't care. I will wear these just for comfort and sometimes it's colder in the house so this one was $14.99 and it has a little mushroom on this corner and then on the back it's just a ton of mushrooms I love the color of it and it's very comfy so I love the softness so the next sweatshirt that I got is this Yosemite shirt sweatshirt it was $14.99 as well it just has a little logo and then on the back, it has that logo in bigger size with a, like, waterfall. Whenever I was um, checking out, the register guy was like, have you guys been there? And I'm like, no. <laughs> fake. <laughs> We're fake. I just like the, the printout. Now the last sweatshirt that I got from TJ Maxx is a very simple one. I like the color gray on me and burgundy, so I tend to, like go towards those colors and like cream colors i think they're really nice so i got this sweatshirt it was 12.99 it just says originals brooklyn cloth i have no clue and then on the back it just says it in very big writing but half the time these shirts i don't even care what's on the back because my hair is down except now but most of the time my hair is down so you won't even be able to see the back very nice, very soft material. So I got those. Now let's go ahead and open up some packages. So I already know what this one is because it's not in a package. I'm not sure why it didn't come in a package. Maybe my brother opened it. I have no clue. It's a little ring light, but it's like an overhead one that you can clamp onto your desk. So you can um, get overhead shots and you can film overhead. So I figured this would be good. In case I, 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 you know, I do plan on eventually filming a tutorial for one of my sleepy baby animals. So I figured this would be good for whenever I do want to do that. Or if I want to do beginner tutorials or like add on any videos to my like up and coming patterns, I can do that with this. So I figured that would be a must have. Next, let's open up some of these Amazon packages because I don't even remember. I couldn't tell you what I got from Amazon. Well, this is not 
This is not a fun package. I ended up buying my mom some some pots and pans and with the pots and pans I also bought like a potato smasher, a um, ground beef like, I don't know, cutter, some new silicone tongs, like this is all for my mom. <laughs> so let's move on to the next package because that one was unenthusiastic. Now that I think about it, I bought her some new pots and pans. So honestly, this big old package that I'm about to show you might be the pots and pans. So let me scoot you guys back. Right now my um, parents are in Mexico and so I've been buying some stuff for the house and buying my mom some stuff just because um, I think she'd really appreciate it. So yeah, she needed some new stuff anyway, so. Go ahead and open this. <laughs> this is huge. Okay, so this is like the spatulas and like the um, silicone spoons and stuff. So that's hers. And let me see. I bought the T-Fall, T-F-A-L ones apparently they're supposed to be really good like non-stick pans so that's what i got her now am i a cook no but i still got them Yeah, this is just her her various little um, pans. Yeah, pans, pans. They're not pots, they're pans. So we will just close this up for her to kind of open whenever she gets back from Mexico, which should be in a week. They've been gone for maybe two or three weeks, so I think they were going to go for a month. So they leave to Mexico about four times a year, so... Um, yeah, I know for a fact this one and the box is mine. I forgot what I bought specifically. I'm pretty sure it's like Chenille Home Slim colors that are never in stock at my local Michaels. So let's see what's in here. Yeah, I've never in life seen this color. I'm sure maybe you guys have, but this color is so new to me. It is this. I bought two of them just so I can have them in my collection. And it's the Chanel Home Slim yarn and it's in the color gray tweed. I felt like this is perfect for like chickens or like say I make a dog and I make him like white and then like speckled in this color. I think he would be so cute. I went ahead and got these. And then we got a huge box from Michaels. The only yarn order that I'm missing now is from Hirschner's and I think I'm gonna put myself on a yarn band. So. I literally need to put myself on a yarn band. So I know you guys will keep me accountable too. Or you guys will just pressure me and enable me. But either or, I think it's time for me to tell myself that I need to stop buying some yarn. And it's not that much. It's not, it's not even filled. Look at that. They were having like 40% off. And then two dollar shipping or something like that that's the reason why i bought this i think my total was supposed to be like 150 and it probably ended up being like 60 bucks or something like that so that's why i bought all this yarn the math may not be mathing because I, those aren't specific numbers i can't remember how much it was maybe it says it on here let me see it does not give me a total amount that i spent but if it helps you yeah the total the most like the highest that i paid for a skein because i also bought different other types of yarn so it's not all the same um the highest amount that i paid was five dollars and 18 cents 19 cents i'm sorry for the chenille home slim so it was very inexpensive but i didn't need too much yarn so i didn't like spend 300 dollars. i should have because 
this yarn was really inexpensive. I went ahead, I have it, I've never had this Sweet Snuggles like floral yarn besides the one from Premier. So I was just wanting to see how comparable it is to the Premier yarn. Um, it's just as pretty and it looks like they have the same type of like colorway now that I'm looking at it. I got this only, I only got the ones that were available to ship to me, which was Dahlia. It's like the pink one with like green in it. It's very, very pretty. I got this other floral one. It's in the color Daisy Blossom. Then I got this white with blue in it. And this one's in the color Peacock Blossom. Very pretty. I got this cream one. It's called Winter White. Then I got this mint one, Loops and Threads Mint, and it's called Baby Green. It's so pretty. It's like a soft green. Then I love this yarn i just can never find it like at my local one so i got another one of these and it's black and white tweed it's very pretty actually i got two of them that's how much i like it then i got two of these in the color gray i think i can make like chickens with it it's just such a pretty color i have never seen this color so i sure did get two then i don't know what it is but i love this lilac with yellow on it it just looks so mesmerizing it reminds me of like the sun no not the sun it reminds me of like the moon and like it makes me want to make um a posy the fairy dragon from refined vibes and to put a moon at the end of it this is just like so celestial to me so i bought two of them to see how much it takes to make one of those and um i just love this yarn i may honestly have to keep one of those because this is this it just looks so pretty and then the last type of yarn that i bought is this feels like bliss lion brand they had some new colors which i normally don't use this um i have like the back little shelf over there it's like turned sideways so you can pull it out and it has yarn in it my dad was really nice to put wheels on it so i can pull it out it just needs a handle but that's okay i can still pull it out well all of that is nothing but like velvet yarn from Bernat and this type of yarn as well as um, Premier yarn, the bunny yarn. Well, that is filled with all of that. So I think that's why I don't really use it. It's because I don't literally see it. And like the Premier is like right in my face. The acrylic is right in my face. I tend to hide it, but it's because it's so beautiful that I don't want to use it up but they got new colors so i figured i would buy some more and then see if i will make something out of it maybe my sleepy baby elephant or something but yeah this is the lion brand feels like bliss yarn this one let's see where are the colors oh this is in the color peach very pretty this pretty pretty yellow one is in the color buttercup it's perfect this one's came all untangled. I don't like that. It's in the color Dusty Rose. This soft like taupe purple is in the color Cocoa. It's, it, it must be brown then. It kind of looks purplish. We got this gray one. Let me move this to the middle. And it's in the color Sterling. It's already ripped halfway. I'm kind of sad. This one is for sure a purple. And it's in the color Lavender. Very pretty. And then the last one that I got is this blue it's so pretty it's in the color aqua very very nice they feel very very cooling so i'm excited to add all of this to my collection it's probably going to go back in the box until i pull that bookshelf out so i can store these okay guys before i open the next package i kind of want to show you guys what i've been working on Not including my own patterns, I just want to show you guys what I've been working on as a pattern tester for other designers. Sorry, I know I'm moving you guys in between me talking. Um, I was just a little far away. Y'all were just a little far away from me. First and foremost one that I really want to talk about, which is probably the only one I'm going to talk about because I think in my last video I talked about the rest of them. This is the first one I want to talk about. Isn't this the cutest little griffin? It's a little baby griffin. And it's a little baby griffin snuggler. Like, look how adorable he is. It was actually really quick for me to make. And this is by Cozy Wonders Crochet so adorable she literally makes such adorable patterns a lot of this is not no sew i will say there's a ton of things to sew on but they just come out so cute and i honestly don't think it takes too much time you would think these arms these legs like all of this would take a lot of time but i don't think it takes too much time of course, I didn't time myself, but I didn't think it was like an unreasonable amount of time. And some of this stuff you probably could 
make no so if you like really wanted to i just love the way this little guy came out he even has wings are you kidding me he has a little tail like he's just so cute love this i even put like some gold eyes no they're not mine i haven't painted any i want to i just haven't speaking of that i kind of want to show you guys what i got from amazon a couple days ago i think it was the beginning of this week it was just a ton of eyes more silicone beads these are little elephants with like little flowers on the top like a little floral band like a headband and then i got little hippos of a different color so cute i ended up buying some more stuff for painting eyes i bought a ton of these it was probably like less than two dollars for all of this so i bought that and then i got several eyes in a variety of sizes so and i think that's it i think i showed you guys my new baby koala i'm working on my piggy if you have been on my live finally got the ears done i'm just working up the body sorry my light just died this is gonna this is gonna have to be okay for now and then i am working on the cute little leggies so they're gonna be different than my other patterns have been with the bobble stitches this one's not gonna have any bobble stitches let me go ahead and show you guys my next package which is the far most exciting package okay so i'm also filming for youtube so i have them right here this i'm sending to patty for my first reaction for um opening up her package because she sent me a package so i figured i would film it so film it on here for my initial reaction let me go ahead and sit you up girl okay guys so i am going to be opening this package um sadly it came opened like let me not show you my address here but it came open from the bottom but it looks like everything is in there i texted patty and she said that everything is in the bubble wrap so that's perfect i love that that it's like double sealed on here and she put little happy mail on here on the front i don't want to drop anything out of here but she put happy mail and then a little smiley face love it and she has really good handwriting because you guys i mean if you ordered sewing sticks for me you guys know how bad my handwriting is it's terrible terrible but we're gonna set that aside and we got all of these goodies i wonder what's in here like the only thing i knew was like the bracelet so girl oh she got me some cetaphil gentle skin cleanser i definitely need that i started literally like do you see that like i started breaking out i don't know i think it's stress literally dry to normal skin i have dry very dry skin so that's definitely gonna help and i've never tried that brand so thank you so much and then i freaking love elf it's a hydrating uh lip shine girl i bite my lips all the time maybe this will help like it'll help me from biting my lips seriously vaseline heck yes i freaking love vaseline cocoa butter so adorable she said it was like a little care package so i am loving it all honey miracle hair mask intense moisture girl yes <laughs> thank you girl that's so sweet and then a tide to go i've never used one of these i always see them but i have never used one so i love that i will definitely be trying it and then a little vegan collagen hydrate and plump facial mask. I need to give myself a, like a little pamper moment. And fun fact, all of this I tend to keep. My mom loves popping these. And I like as a de-stressor, I like sit there and like just pop them like Loki. So and then the best thing like this, like she handmade this. So to me, it's like the best thing. And it's in such cute packaging. Look at that. It's so adorable. Can you guys see that? It's so cute. She showed me like a little preview of it. So let's see if it um, fits. I measured my wrist and I don't think I'm, yeah, I did measure my, right? I did. Yeah. I measured my ring size. So we'll see. So it fits perfectly, fits perfectly. And then let me see, I would probably use my middle. Look, it fits so well girl you know my size so well like i know you did it a couple um beads bigger than yours and that's perfect look at that i'm definitely going to wear this to work tomorrow it is friday so i'm gonna wear the crap out of this it's so pretty i love it thank you so much i really appreciate it girl i seriously am i have like the best friends ever and i really appreciate it i need to send their stuff out because i do have their stuff i was just waiting on some of these boxes to come to see if i could put bathy's gifts 
in one of these boxes but some of these boxes are way too big so i'm probably just gonna buy the bullet and then buy a box at um the post office i have the box ready for to ship for addison i just need to make the label for it that is the update for now um thank you so much Bethy. i really appreciate it girl i'm so happy to like call you one of my best friends and I can't wait for what's to come for all of us. You, me, Addie, and um, Ariana. So very exciting. For you guys, I will update you guys later. I think I will be filming during the week right now. <laughs> It's 11.51 p.m. So I'm going to have to edit the video that comes out tomorrow. Right now, usually I'll probably be done by like 2 a.m. And then I can take a nap before I go into work. And yes, that sounds crazy. But like, A, I, I, I'm not a bedside nurse. So don't, don't think I'm like taking care of patients and I've only had a couple hours of sleep. Two, I took like a huge nap, like a huge nap like it wasn't even a nap it was a sleep I was asleep for like four to five hours when I was out of town so it you know I had enough sleep I just had to wake up and come back home so I feel energized I feel fine um I have my water with me and yeah I have a snack so um yeah I will see you guys tomorrow most likely of course it's gonna be a couple seconds for you guys um but yeah I am excited for my new setup and I hope you guys enjoy and it's a little bit more cozier for you guys and you know I want to start these vlogs back up that is it for right now I will see you guys in a little bit hey guys so today is March 19th it's Tuesday it's 12:25 p.m. and I wanted to share with you what I got over the weekend. Sorry I feel like these past couple days I've been not feeling myself. Um, I kind of feel down. Uh, it could be all the like the weather that has been you know like it's been rainy and crummy. It probably also has to deal with like my parents not being here, me visiting my boyfriend for a couple days and then coming back home and knowing that I won't see him for at least another month you know what I mean like all of that it, I just feel like it's the ebbs and flows of being with someone constantly for two days you know like I know two days doesn't seem enough but like seeing them eating with them eating breakfast eating lunch and you know watching movies with them and stuff like that so I just kind of wanted to be a little candid with you guys I may be a little down I know it's gonna pass um my mind gets focused on crocheting and I just like that's like I pinpoint that so I I'm not sad um so I really am feeling it I haven't um crocheted this weekend at all so I'm sure <clears throat> if you really look at like my Instagram it's been like post of previous things that I've done within the past week or two so anyways I just feel like we're all going through something and I just want to be as candid with you guys as I can because I'm not just this automatic happy person every single time I try to be just because this channel is for you guys to get away and um, it's for me to have like a little bit of a, a little bit of an outlet as well so I try to be you know as happy as I I normally am um just wanted to put that in there just because we all go through this so it you know I'm not the first person I won't be the last person but I just want to let you guys know that it is completely normal and there's you have a whole support system so don't feel like you have to keep it in either you know cry your little heart out that helps a lot <laughs> It really does. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the reason why I even turned my camera on in the first place. And that is because of the packages that I received over the weekend. I just wanted to share them with you guys. This is everything that I have bought. No one has sent me anything. Um, I just want to show you guys that. This one here is from Saya Bell Design on Etsy. And this is what their little their little card looks like their little logo and the main reason i bought this is because refined vibes was talking about it um it came in this cute little like leather pouch faux leather pouch it's so cute it even buttons down so i actually have a place to put it so what this is is an embossing stamp so basically if you have like your cards like your business cards you're able to emboss the logo onto your business cards and it just makes it look that much more professional so i figured I'd get one because 
it just looked pretty cool and it was pretty inexpensive i think 30 bucks is good if you want to make something a little bit more custom for your small business i think 30 bucks is pretty good and i think this is like a lifetime thing so so here are my old business cards they're a little square they're kind of cute so all you do is from the top you want to go in like that with the card you can put it anywhere i mean i'll just do it right here and you just press down and it like embosses your logo i don't even think you'll be able to see it okay i went ahead and just grabbed my new business cards i don't even think you have to press that hard i don't know if you can see it maybe let me try turning this light off you can kind of see it right here yeah, but anyways, it's just my little logo. The other thing that I got, which I didn't get my whole order, but I still wanted to show you because the rest of my whole order didn't come in until, I want to say April 10th is the ship date. So it probably won't come in until mid-April. But I still wanted to show you what they sent me, which is from Hershner's. I'm sure if you guys were on my live, you guys saw that I bought some yarn, some Premier Parfait Chunky from Hershner's. And it actually came in, so here it goes. I set it down. I'm going to show you guys what I bought, though. So we got three in this gray, which is pale gray. We got three in this cloudy day color, which is like a lighter gray. I got three in fog. I know that's a lot of gray, but we're making koalas, so I, I needed different types of gray, and I wanted to buy three of each, so. Two in white, two in mustard, two in dusty mauve, three in hibiscus, two in light blue, and three in rain, which is my favorite, favorite color from Premier Yarns. So the ones that I didn't get, let me read them off to you. I ordered three in cotton candy, two in lilac, three in bubblegum that I didn't receive. So they should be coming to me. Ship date is um, 410. So I won't have them for a little bit, which I was talking about how I don't have pinks. I did order some from Premier Yarns because they had some of their colors back in stock. So I went ahead and ordered some from there. I also ordered some velvet yarn. Let me put this yarn back up and there's a couple more things that I wanna show you. Okay, I also think in this video, I may um, show you guys like the yarn wall again because I want to reorganize it so I may do that on camera with you guys just so I can add all these colors in and take some of like these skinny chenilles out I only put them there just because I didn't have any premier parfait chunky and there was you know holes that I wanted to fill but I do have more so I think I'm going to organize it a little bit better the other thing that I want to show you guys before I go in get myself some food is the safety eyes that I was talking about earlier that I bought recently so I did end up buying this little thing to put like my glitter paint on so it's a little bit easier for me to grab with the paint brushes and then I also bought some more paint brushes just because I wanted to just in case I needed more and then these are all the safety eyes that I bought on Amazon so I bought this whole thing not even sure what size it is because it doesn't have it on that packaging it had a package within a package I lost that package but I'm sure I can easily find out if I wanted to because I have so many safety eyes so I'm sure I could just match it up to see which one is similar to this size so I also bought these 18 millimeter eyes they actually have the tag on here so I know what size these are and the last one it actually came in a box and I don't know what size these are either I don't think they have it on this bag no they don't have them on this bag let me see Oh, and it doesn't say it on here either. So I have no clue what size these are. I'll probably just look back at my Amazon order to see what size I bought. And then I'll probably know what size it is. But I think that's it for right now. I am about to head to Chick-fil-A because I am starving. You know when it's Sunday and you like want Chick-fil-A and you know it's closed? That happens to me every single Sunday. <laughs> so by Monday, I want Chick-fil-A but Mondays I work so today's Tuesday and I decided I would treat myself to some Chick-fil-A so I will be back um I'll probably show you the goods and I'll be back to maybe crochet with you guys maybe paint some safety eyes maybe organize this yarn wall I don't know I don't know yet
just depends. I know today on live, which it's Tuesday, so I go live Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. CST. I will today, tonight, <laughs> I will be making some sewing sticks for you guys, whoever has ordered in the past week or two. It's time for me to make those, so I will be going on live with those. I'm excited about it, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really happy that people have been patient with me. You know, it's just hard working a full-time job while also taking orders, while also trying to record for YouTube and edit for YouTube as well as going live, you know, and having a social life. So it is all hard. It's a good hard though, you know, like there's a difference. I'm blessed that I'm able to do this and I'm blessed that I have a full-time like actual job. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Let me go get some food. Let me go drive and get some food. So I'll be back. Hey guys, quick update here. So it is 7, 10 p.m. on the same day, Tuesday. I told you guys I was going to go get Chick-fil-A. I did. I ate. And then I just started kind of cleaning my room and also tagging some plushies off camera so I could show you guys the plushies that I tagged on camera. So let me go ahead and show you guys a couple of plushies that I did. I did like this whole bin. I plan on doing like a bin maybe a day until April and hopefully that'll get me to all of my plushies literally being tagged and priced. There's so many plushies that I don't want to price. It's like an overwhelming feeling if I try to price them all in one day. So I just did a bin full. Trust me, the bin is not that big. <laughs> but I feel proud of myself because I at least did 10 plushies. So let me go ahead and show you. So here's the bin. Like I said, it's not that big. And a lot of these are multiples, which are my Benjis. They're pretty good size and they're like, they have full limbs, like full bodies, a whole tail. So I did price them for $34 each. So I have these two. I have these two and I have this one. This one is like the first one that I made. So it has two teeth and the tail is a little bit smaller, but it's still a plushie and it's still cute. The arms are actually a little bit smaller as well, but he's still so adorable. The next thing that I priced is this dragon with full-blown wings here, a large tail, a lot of details to the face and coming down the spine. You can see the blue. And this one I am pricing for $28. It's a, you know, medium sized plush. Next I have this little cute duck snuggler. It's blue so it's going to be specific to whoever buys it. It's not like a regular duck color. But I did price it for $28. It's adorable. It actually has, the eyes I actually used yarn. So it is child safe. The next thing that I priced is this cute little mushroom. I think it's adorable. I think this pattern's from All From Jade. And I priced it for $16. I think it's adorable. This is the larger mushroom from her pattern. I think she has three mushrooms and this is the largest one. Next I have this Posy the Fairy Dragon. This one of course is by Refined Vibes. And I priced it at $28. It is smaller because of the yarn that I used but the yarn is like fuzzy yarn. I could hardly see my stitches when I was making it and I think the detail of the heart on the tail really gives it that extra oomph to wear. I feel okay with charging $28 for this little girl. There's that one. I have this little bird slash penguin it is $14 adorable I have this little blue axolotl and I am charging 16 for it and that is all that I priced it took me a while to price them really what I do in the process of pricing which I've talked about in previous vlogs is I have my cute little card it actually came like this like an actual business card. I actually made it double so I and I put a line in between on Canva so I could cut them out myself. My dad hole punched them for me. Very sweet of him because I think it was like a thousand to hole punch. I have a whole ton. I have this entire box filled with them. And then on the back there's like a warning choking hazard, um, small parts, like a disclaimer on here as well as my Etsy shop information on here. The main thing on the front is it has my logo. It says in need of a forever home and then it has the price on it and what I use to price my items is this multi-use labels and they're just like little cubed labels so it's really easy for you to 
um, scratch them off and put on a new if you're wanting to change the price for anything the other thing that i use to hang them off i know a lot of people use like safety pins i don't like using safety pins i don't want anybody to get stuck for any reason so i go ahead and use like these closed things they actually are as soon as you lock them you can't use them again so you have to cut it and remake another one but since it's so easy to take the sticker off of it that's what i do once i have this on my plushies so it's really just wasting this sticker and these were extremely cheap i think i bought like six of them and they come with like multiple they have 525 removable labels and i think i bought like five or six of these and i think the total was like six dollars or something like it was crazy cheap on amazon so i really do like these multi-use labels i love the way this looks it just makes it look so much more cohesive and my small business it's like the little things of the small business that just makes everything well put together um i am trying to go through this bag i'm about to show you guys to price hopefully this week it's just a lot i'm not sure what i want to do because some of these are just like keychains that i just don't want to put price so i may just like bundle them all together and say eight dollars or something like that but it's just the fact that some of these are so much smaller than the other ones so i may do like keychains and then backpack buddies on two different racks um and see how that goes but let me show you the bag that i'm trying to get through this week so this is the bag that i'm trying to get through this week it has just a ton of miscellaneous things it's just so much that i don't know i don't even know where to start like these little fries i guess this is like a backpack buddy i guess eight to ten bucks i don't know but then you have smaller items like this my little puffer fish i want to put a keychain on it i kind of don't want to i kind of want to you know i'm back and forth i don't know a carrot how much would someone charge for a carrot these are all things that are i'm so indecisive about some of these have prices from when i put them on my etsy shop but on etsy i did since this was like four months ago i have now like changed my pricing just a little bit not by too much but maybe by a couple dollars and so i am changing and the packaging has changed so i need to change that but yeah this little lacromy realistic frog i freaking love this pattern i think i'll probably keep it the same price though these are 10 i don't know if i want to upcharge to 12 i just don't know you know i live in a small town so it's not like I can charge more than $12 and I wouldn't feel comfortable charging more than 12. I couldn't even see this going for 14 or 16. Like I just think it's too small and I know the time that I put into it and it wasn't more than 20 minutes, you know? So it's just a little hard when I didn't time myself for a lot of these. I used to use a an app called Track Time Pro and that really helped me. But then I felt like looking through Etsy, it was really hard to price my plushies because I felt like my prices were significantly less than other people. I just don't know, like, am I losing money? You know what I mean? Like you want to make a profit. And I know you could like weigh your yarn, you could like weigh your polyfill, you can see how much of a margin you're gonna get for, you know. But that's just so much work to put in and maybe if I didn't have a full-time job and I had more time to do that I would but I don't feel like I would have the time to be weighing yarn and weighing um polyfill things like that it, I know some people are like it's you know it's not that hard you know just get into the routine but it's hard whenever you just like after a 12-hour shift you just want to pick up your yarn and crochet a little bit and i know you probably only have to do it that one time and then it'll kind of be consistent say you make an octo and you weigh it you you weigh all of it you price it and then you make another octo it's going to be if you use the same pattern then it obviously it's going to be the same the second time the third time the fourth time which i get but i think it's just the initial that I don't want to do but maybe it's something I need to consider I've talked to my dad about it and he's a businessman he um owned his company before he retired and so he's told me you know if that's going to be beneficial to you but if it's just gonna lead to more of a headache and really not guarantee you much like 
besides sanity, then, you know, something to consider. Sometimes you can do it on your own, but I don't know. That's just something that I wanted to talk about just for a little bit because I feel like it gets brought up in my head so much. I don't really talk about it, but I kind of do want to see how other crocheters maybe just buy the, the formula maybe from um, Cameron's Cute Creations and see how see how it goes, maybe try it out. And if I don't like it, I don't use it, you know? And then it helps with inventory as well. It's just, I feel like I have so much inventory. I have like four bags, four full bags of inventory, but it's because I've been crocheting for the past year, year and a half without selling any of my stuff. And you know, I just have to go through it. <laughs> oh, it's just so much. It's so much. Hopefully from here on out, it'll be a lot easier for me, you know? But that's the update for now. It's 7.24 p.m. now. I have my live at 8 o'clock, so I'm going to need to put this little thing away. I'm probably going to talk about it on my live too, if I'm being completely honest, just because it's out. And um, a lot of people like the candidness of you showing how you price your plushies, you know, so I don't mind sharing that. I want to be as transparent as I can be, you know. There's things, of course, that I won't talk about, but a lot of it, I feel like from one small business to another, that's why I created my channel, because I wanted more crochet YouTube, you know what I mean? More people on crochet, like crochet talk, but crochet tube. So, by the way, let me show you guys something. Hold on. So I'm not a huge fan of pretzels, but I feel like lately my taste buds have been changing and I've been starting to like things that I didn't like before. And one of them is pretzels. I didn't like pretzels for the longest. And then someone gave me a pretzel and I was like, hmm, why don't I eat pretzels? And they were just like the salted pretzels, just regular pretzels. Maybe a couple years ago, my friend made me try these pretzels, Dots homestyle pretzels. She made me try these. I didn't like them. I thought they were gross. And then when my friend gave me a pretzel to try maybe two weeks ago, maybe I should buy those dot pretzels that I tried a couple years ago that I thought were disgusting. This is literally my new addiction and I have nothing else to say but 10 out of 10 and I would recommend like these are addicting. These are so good. So if you get addicted easily, maybe don't try them, but do try them. Like they're so good. <laughs> I freaking love these. Like they are so delicious. They're my new favorite snack. I don't have anything else to say besides that because those pretzels are delicious. A lot of sodium though, but delicious. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, I'll probably check in with you guys after my live to show you all of the sewing sticks that I made on live because that is what I'll be doing today. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so checking in, it is 3.32 a.m. It's Wednesday, March 20th, the day this video goes up. Um, I was trying to get all of these packaged up, all of my sewing sticks that I made on live today, um, packed up and I'm about to make the custom listings for everybody to have in the morning. Um, that is what I've been working on and it took a little bit longer than expected, but everything is good to go. So I'm just going to show you guys the custom sticks that I made on live today. So I made this cute little darker Highland cow with a cute little leaf. It's so cute. I made this little guy. It's like a sage green flower and then with pink and purple tan accents. This cute little elephant, my favorite elephant and very, very colorful and pretty. We got two sunflowers with white and yellow. So cute. We got a white fox and it's a white leaf for the second stick. Very adorable. We have a yellow, sorry, not yellow. We have a pink and sage green flower with neutral accents. We have a pink fox with a pink little hexagon diamond and darker pink and lighter pink with white. So cute. And then the last one that I made that I'm waiting basically for a response to make sure that I can glue them on is this one. I think it yeah, it says Mama Needs Coffee. So cute. So I haven't packaged that one up because I haven't glued the topper on it. 
all of these other ones are glued and ready to go so i'm excited i'm about to make the listing um i kind of just wanted to close this video off i just want want to say that I appreciate everybody who has bought any sewing sticks from me. We had so much fun on my live today, just kind of pricing plushies, making sewing sticks. You know, it was just nonchalant. It was very, very relaxing for me and I know it was relaxing for you guys. And so I just want to continue that fun. I can't wait literally for Thursday's live. We're actually going to be going live, I believe on Friday, me, Addison, Ariana, and Fatih. So stay tuned for that as well guys we always have fun we go live on instagram i think that's it for right now i can't think of anything else so i just want to say thank you guys so much i appreciate it all make sure you hit the like button you subscribe to my channel you consider subscribing if you like this type of content and supporting my small business means a lot make sure you leave down in the comments a little fox down there i want to see all your foxes i will catch you guys in my next one thank you guys so much bye guys